everybody, let's go for a walk in the Piney Woods. All pumped up on coffee this morning, and it's an absolutely gorgeous day. Sun's out, it's warm. Yeah, warm, it's like 30. And uh, I got my snow shoes I dug out. We got snow last night. Had another bunch of snow before that, so we got a good base. And I'm just out on a recon mission here to see what the woods is like. See how much snow there is. And generally, just enjoy myself. You can see up through the woods there, there's my <laughs> Appalachian Trail outhouse I built up here, <laughs> which is kind of cool. Uh, I even had to armor plate it so that the porcupines didn't eat it. Uh, they tried, but I armor plated it, so they seem to have given up on it, which is a good thing. These trees are all loaded with snow. The trees out here today are all loaded with snow, so it wouldn't be a good idea to kind of <laughs> just reach up and shake a limb because I think you'd get buried. Uh, as the day goes on, it warms up. I think the snow will start falling off on them. But uh, right now, it's kind of one of those postcard situations where the trees are all coated and everything looks like a really high quality postcard thing, all twinkly and stuff, all kinds of evergreens. It's just absolutely gorgeous out here. I really wish the camera could. Uh, Show you a little more of what I can see because the camera just doesn't really capture the beauty that's out here. But I'm going to take this camera off the stick pick and try to show you as much as possible so you can see what I'm talking about. But it's still just not the same as being here. So let's go a little deeper into the woods and see what we can see. Earlier we came out, Sue and I and Beth, and found some balsam fir and cut a few low limbs off and stripped the needles off of them and put them in bags for a, kind of a little fur pillow to kind of spice up the house and make it smell like the woods. We've got a plastic Christmas tree, so it doesn't smell much like the woods. So we put these bags of balsam fir needle around it to kind of give it a more of an authentic smell. I really don't like cutting down a young tree for a Christmas tree. It just seems to me like such a waste. Sue calls it veiling a tree. <laughs> you know what veal is. So, we just use the same old plastic Christmas tree every year. It works out pretty cool. Huh. Okay, now we're getting back into some big growth, some big hemlock and stuff. The woods is <laughs> absolutely drop dead gorgeous. What a beautiful place to be. Huh. I wish I wasn't so old and got so cold so easy. I'd do some winter camping, but, uh, yeah, winter camping and I, uh, not so much. Let's just shake this limb and see what happens. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can see a guy could get, <laughs> I did this all down my driveway this morning to get the limbs in the driveway. <laughs> Back up off the driveway so the FedEx trucks could get in and out. Okay, carry on. I had to stop for a minute and adjust a few things. This uh, stick pick thing is, it works great, but uh, it's not the best setup when it's really snow. I had to stop and clean the snow off my lens. 